It's 10.50 a.m. It's so dark that my solar light actually just came on. Ooh, I don't like storms. Everybody, how you doing? So we are finally doing our tomato comparison in hydroponics and in the raised beds uh, with soil. So Wayne is just going to explain what exactly we are using for the nutrients and then we'll show you how we go about doing that. Okay guys, so we have two different greenhouses, one with soil and one in the as you've seen in the hydroponic grow bags. I'm feeding them both the same product but different amounts. It, during the day or the week so these are the three that we're using so we use Epsom salt calcium nitrate 15.500 and then the master blend tomato formula 41838 so what we do roughly in a 50 gallon barrel a 45 gallon barrel uh, depending on what you have we're using the exact same measurement 230 grams of fertilizer 230 grams of calcium and 115 grams of uh, uh, magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt. Now, we did you measure this all out in tablespoons or teaspoons to start with, and it's just that I have to do so much every day. It was recommended me to me by CV to go with the tablespoons, so that's what we did. The teaspoons, I keep hitting that and stuff. But then I actually weighed them after that so I could be consistent and uh, it's just a time saving thing. Easier measuring. Yeah. And then after that, there's only two measurements I really do, is the, the EC and the pH I don't actually ever do, but if you, depending on what your water is in your area, you should check your pH. We have phenomenal water here, that's why it's called Spring Hill. You know, we have springs everywhere. Our pH right out of the, out of the well is 5.6 5 in that area. So when I, when I mix this up, it's 5-8 it's bang on almost every time. And I, I will show you when we get over to the greenhouse. But I just want to show them the trench in here. So these were purchased through Amazon. Yeah. Um, I'll put the links actually below. So we're looking for an EC of 2. You know, right here, and that'll light up when you put it in the water. We have a pretty simple system here. We try to keep it all si simple because there's five of us here, a couple of my boys and my daughter-in-law and my niece, so you never know who's over there, so we've kept everything. I'm here still. too. And my wife, yeah, well you guys all know her. <laughs> so, and really I have these because of this greenhouse here, otherwise I probably wouldn't have had this equipment, but it's fairly inexpensive and well worth, worth purchasing. So let's head over there to what we call number four, the soil greenhouse, and okay. we'll have a look at the tomatoes. All right, so here we are in greenhouse number four. Um, these are the tomatoes that are grown in the raised beds with soil and drip irrigation. So these plants were, these were seeded, um, I'd say around the beginning of March. And they were transplanted into this greenhouse in the beginning of May. Yeah, May, the beginning of May. Um, so the ones that we're going to show you in the hydroponics, they are a month behind. But uh, look how these are coming along. And beautiful soil underneath. Yeah, well that's what I was going to show you. This soil is pretty good soil in here. Every, every fall we will go through and the plants are done. We'll pull the plastic and we throw some food compost in there. Some, uh, some lime, granular lime. It's not as messy as the powdered lime and some calcium we put in in the spring before we put the plastic on about four three to four pounds per row we put in and it just makes for a great soil we've, we've always had good crops out of this greenhouse and, and our you, our own compost as well yep so yeah so you can see in here the amount of tomatoes we're finally starting to get some ripe ones look at that i wonder how much yeah. that one weighs <laughs> i don't know but we have picked some ripe to go to market um they're really that, that is I mean, it's hard to tell on camera how big that is, but that is a nice big tomato. And it's got the funny bottom on it. Some of them are like that, but the majority of them are really, really doing well. Like, they are really starting to ripen. Sorry, guys, if I'm moving the camera too fast, but I just want to give you a peek at the ripening. Perfect. 
So basically guys, this greenhouse is 30 by 60. There's about 320 tomato plants in here and then some pepper plants in the center. So what we do every morning, I run through 50 gallons of water in this greenhouse with nutrients in it. And we'll show you that outside. We've got a fairly simple system. I've just got a little sump pump outside. Going right to the back of the greenhouse, hooked up to the drip tapes. So this is where, yeah, yeah. we've got our yeah, header got here. A pressure, pressure regulator on there for the drip tape. And it takes about 20 minutes to empty this barrel. And then you can see here we have a timer down here to get past the leaves here. <laughs> and then we run that twice a day for about 60 minutes. Yeah, and I keep forgetting to tell you guys, we got these at Walmart and they, yeah, there are ever a lot of weeds. Um, CB would never have this. Yeah. <laughs> so what we do is um, we run this after, this does not control the um, system that Wayne's gonna show you, but after that's been run, we run it in the soil beds. We run just straight water um, for an hour, twice, two to three times a day, depending on the heat. Um, and you just turn this nozzle to 60 minutes and you don't have to worry about coming back to um, shut it off. So that's fantastic. And for 10 bucks, can't go wrong. So you can sure see what we've got here as far as production. We're getting lots of tomatoes. Uh, compared to the greenhouse we're going to go to next, you know, it's hard because we planted a month, of, a month apart. We only just built this greenhouse, the other greenhouse. And planted it about seven and a half weeks ago yeah about that yeah so I'll show I'll talk about the differences over there once I, we get over there but I mean there's there's you can see we're gonna get a lot of tomatoes yet our season's just starting up here in northern Ontario so Wayne gets a little panicked like why aren't they ripening yeah. we go through this every single we're year watching the kettle boil <laughs> and then once everything starts ripening and he's like what are we gonna do with all these tomatoes <laughs> we don't have a problem getting rid of them there guys so let's show them this yeah, system. Yeah, I haven't run it yet this morning, so I'll just show you out here. Yeah. So guys, like I said, we keep it pretty simple here. I've just got this barrel and I fill it every morning or evening and then I have it ready to go in the morning. And again, this is what we put, 230 grams of fertilizer, 230 grams of calcium, and 115 grams of uh, magnesium sulfate or Epsom salt. Sorry if it's windy, guys. I can't So we fine-tuned it with the weights and stuff so we could get to... I don't know if you guys can see this here. This will come on right now. There's the EC flashing right at 2. 2.0. 2 so that's what we're looking for. I mean, I'm a little more consistent in the other greenhouse because, you know, what, what? we're only doing it once a day here. And then it's water after that. But everything seems... The plants are healthy. There's no bottom end rot. Everything looks great. Lots of flowering. Good color. And I'll show you the, I don't know if you can read this, pH. Let me see. In here with the fertilizer, it's running three, five, three, five, four. Maybe a little low, but uh, when we add the water to it, I've really never been that concerned about it over here. It's not like the, with the lettuces and stuff, I've got to be really make sure we're on, we're on where we should be. So anyways, I'll start this up, and then I'll come back in about 20 minutes, and this one I have to come back and shut it off. It gives me time to do a few chores in between. So okay. let's head over to the, the greenhouse and we'll check that out. Okay? Got a severe thunderstorm warning coming. Right to the well, you can hear the thunder right now. You know, it's funny, I'm gonna go in here so they can hear. I think the wind is getting bad, so it's really funny because every time we go to do this video, we have a thunderstorm. What's with that? I don't know. So here's I'll show you the pump. It's just a little one fifth of a horse utility pump. Because of the pressure regulator, it takes it quite a while to pump down. Normally, without the regulator, this would be empty in 10 minutes. But uh, And we just plug it in there yeah, and, and walk away. let it go. So let's head over so to green, simple. greenhouse number five is what we're calling the other one because it was getting too confusing. Let's go. All right. Look at this jungle, guys. Like, I mean, these have grown insanely fast. So I'm just gonna explain something. Um, if you watched our video, you can go back and watch on what we've used. Um, so these are in slabs, all hydroponic. There is absolutely no soil, which we are loving. But I wanna show you what we've done here. So this, this tomato plant here was the original tomato plant, okay? And then what we did was we left a bottom sucker 
on the bottom to to form another tomato plant so we just keep suckering them now now we have two plants off the one and these suckers are actually really starting to catch up to yeah, look at the tomatoes on them already the others yeah it's only been well eight look weeks. at these it hasn't even been eight weeks since we planted this beer. right if you go back to where we had planted these so that's eight weeks ago that time actually went very quick yeah, eight weeks on tuesday but it's amazing how quickly these are growing and the foliage guys look at the foliage i'll bring you over to the peppers in just a bit could, this is where someone could help me out maybe look at this two tomatoes side by side same variety same variety everything's the same look at the color of the tomatoes and i mean i i don't know if that's a big deal but i mean i'm just curious to see wondering why yeah i actually like the look of these ones yeah. better they're like so dark green compared to this is more like a, a lime green. Big difference. And then I want to show you our cucumbers. So these are picklers we have in here and slicers down there. Look at the height of them. They've already been dropped and we are going to continue doing that of course as they grow up to the thing you can up to the wire you can check out our other videos on that and I want to bring you over to the peppers. And these are our greenhouse bell peppers, which we are gonna start pruning the same way as we did in our um, hard prune video. If you go back to see that, we're gonna have three branches on these ones as well. Um, like it's just a blanket of peppers. They are doing so well. So these are actually up to, well, you can't see, up to my waist. So doing very well. And the color, look at the color of the foliage. It's amazing. Okay, so we are now going to try to compare, which it's a little hard with it being um, a month apart between plantings in greenhouse number four and gre here in greenhouse number five. But like I, I'm thinking this one is doing much, it's, it's producing much faster. It's faster, but I also notice a lot more flowers and a lot more tomatoes yeah. per plant. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see it. At the end of the season, we'll have a, a real good idea. You know, it still comes down to flavor, you know, mm -hmm. and, and quantity means a lot too, but it's the flavor in the end because we deal mostly retail, so we're dealing with the actual customers at the markets and our food program, even our restaurants. So what we've decided to do is, um, with our food cro program people, we will have um, <clears throat> a select few of them without them knowing what it is. So uh, the, soil ba uh, the soil grown ones or the hydroponic ones, and we'll let them taste them, see which ones they like best. Um, so we'll have to mark the package that they're in. I don't know, we'll figure something out just to see. And then we'll do it ourselves as well. So, so it's been pretty interesting. It's this crazy. Double, this double stem system we've tried has is, is worked out well. I, I think we only lost one and it really didn't lose it it just stopped creating the top so we have a new sucker coming off it now yeah but it was a sucker there it was exceptional you know, it was easy easier than i thought it was going to be to get these second leaders going so these i um i clipped these uh it'll be a week tomorrow so that's how much they've grown in one week so a good foot eh? yeah oh yeah for yeah. sure they grow really fast i mean it's great that they're growing fast it just makes more work for us. Lots of pruning. Okay guys, so the only difference here is I have two barrels. And I know I mentioned, said earlier, 50 gallons or 45 gallons. In Canada, these are a 45 gallon barrel. In the, in the U.S., they'd be a 50 gallon U.S. barrel. So that's the only difference. So you might have to fine tune your uh, amount of nutrients to get the right EC. Uh, my, the, what I've got, the measurements now work great for my barrels. And, uh, I use the exact same pump here in this greenhouse. Like, I mean, it's so simple. We also use this to put our nutrients in the tank in the in the uh, hydroponic lettuce house too. So yeah, they're cheap pumps. They last last forever. And the only difference between this greenhouse and the soil greenhouse is that these get nutrients every time I water. So I use roughly two barrels a day right now on a real extreme hot day. Today I might not even use a barrel because you know, it's pretty dull. Yeah. So I usually ooh there was lightning. 
I usually run usually about every hour. Like when we've had the extreme heat, we were running every hour. Yeah, we're just, uh, we haven't set up. We're going to get some timers and it's just we're so busy and, and I've got to find the right timers that will only run a couple minutes at a time because this pump will suck this barrel down in 15 minutes and it doesn't need that much water every 15 minutes. So, so it's to find the right setting on a timer. That's it. So what do you think, guys? Let us know. I don't know. This is pretty amazing. Um, it's getting pretty tight in between the rows, as you can see, but as long as one person is walking down and doing the harvest, then it'll be all be fine. I'm really impressed. Well, Are you? So far, so good. Good I mean, job. We'll have to wait and see when they start ripening. And, yeah. I mean, we'll be able to take tomatoes out of here until November without, sure. it, without any heat. Yeah, so for sure. It's quite a ways off yet. Look, we match. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So that's it. Have a great rest of the weekend and uh, stay safe. See you soon. See Bye.